Enough talk, enough hype. It is time to play the game. Opening matchup of this playoff series. Let's go. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. in this period. The game is still scoreless. Florida's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Denies that opportunity. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Lumps the puck into the offensive zone corner. Good battle along the board for the puck. From off the wall and onto a stick. Here's a shot. And that goes off a player in front. The Everblades gain possession. Hammers it from the point. And the puck's booted away. Moves it to Riley. With the blast. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Got it in the offensive zone. Handles the pass. They go on the attack through center. A chance to throw it. And that chance is blocked. Excellent stick work on the play. Darcy's got it in the defensive end. Florida's in transition. Immediately, this goal is not going to count. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Greenville's won the draw in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. And he's got that one. In front a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Florida's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Shot! Oh my goodness, it stayed out! What a save! It was all the in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. Great defensive effort with the stick. Florida's got it along the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Oh, a clutch save! Bedgard's all over that shot, makes an incredible save, getting to the top of his crease quickly, because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Kemp's got it along the boards. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. And they win that neutral zone draw. Florida's got it against the boards. The Swamp Rabbit's get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Greenville's on the attack. Here's a feed in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! command play and dictate pace to start out a series James and getting on the board first that's the first step
The Swamp Rabbits finally break the ice and get the game's first goal. Yeah, and it's an important one, James, because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams. So that little bit of a cushion may give them the stir, the press they need to be more consistent trying to get another one on the board. And that's poked away by a pop. Long jam in front, that's broken up. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Moberg. Puck grabbed by Newber. Goes right to the crease. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. The Swamp Rabbits are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Still lots of time left in the period. Greenville's up, one zip. The Swamp Rabbits win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. The Everblades move it ahead. Takes a shot. Turned aside with the club by Bidnard. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Scoops up the puck now. From the left wing, takes the feed. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Let's it go! And kick that one out of the net. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. Great reach with the poke check by Russell. Greenville's got it in their own zone. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Grabs it in his own end. Cormier's the competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Here he is on the backhand. Cormier's going to hang on for a whistle. Greenville's opened things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. The Everblades win the draw on their own end. And he's ridden off the puck. Florida's playing it through the neutral zone. Pumps it away in his own end. Kent's lugging the puck. And he takes the dish. Moves it quickly over to Carpenter. Florida's in now. Shot! Here's a shot! And he stakes that one with the club. More than half the frame has been played here. Greenville's got a 2-0 lead. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Swamp Rabbits take it along the wall. Quick feed to Kemp. Lock and save and it stays out. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. 
is well respected and a great competitor between the pipes. Martin's a star defender on his team's blue line. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Florida's moving it along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive side. Oh, they do it again! Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. The Swamp Rabbits pick up steam and are on the attack. Denies him. He got all of it. Takes a shot. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Hooked away by Jocelyn. Into the offensive zone. Center and feed. And that's blocked in front. Takes the pass. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. The Swamp Rabbits gain control of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Turns it aside with the pad. Quick pass to Stills. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Shot! A oh, spectacular stop there! Everly stick handling in his own zone. Shot! And makes the save. The Everblades get a hold of the puck along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Sambra. Inside the offensive zone. Keeps possession on the play. The Everblades gain control of the puck against the wall. What a steal in his own end. Greenville's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. Oh, the The Swamp Rabbits recognize that they have the lead, but also you don't get tons of great looks in a game, and this one is a missed opportunity as the puck goes off the frame and out. Played big in the moment there. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James, and I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The Swamp Rabbits have created a lot of scoring chances tonight, and they lead it here late in the first. Pendenzis won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Bednard's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Everblades will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Big save right at the end! And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Listen up, fans. For today only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stuff. Get yours before they are Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Greenville's almost been perfect in that first period, James. I mean, the coach is going to be so impressed with the possession and the execution. They've got a two-goal lead. Now they have to find a way to bring it in the second as well. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Greenville's looking to break out. Receives the pass. Gains the zone along the right wall. Centering pass, and it's blocked. Loses his balance on the play. Puck moved over to Carpenter. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Carpenter's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Greenville's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Fires it on net, and he had the answer on that one. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Slip feed. Scores! It's in the back of the net.
coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And this is exactly why you can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down. But he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Everblades needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Florida's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Pass stolen in the open ice. Oh, I saved it! What a stop! Now, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he is behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. And a great read to turn that play aside. Jocelyn's got in the offensive end. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Picked up along the boards by Jostling. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Everblades have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James, and this is a group that have worked hard. They've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Unable to reach that one. Greenville's got the puck in the defense. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a short pass to Freeman. From the neutral zone now. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Takes it at center. Moves it to the middle. Blocked shot. Greenville's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Takes a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. The Swamper Rabbit scoop it up along the boards. The Everblades go to work on offense. Oh, nice stop with the glove by Bittner. Moberg's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. The Everblades win that offensive zone faceoff. Can't get it to go. Moves it to Lewis. Gaining momentum up along the side. Dumps it in. The Everblades move the puck in the defensive zone. Carpenter's got it along the wing. No room for that one to get through. The Swamp Rabbits have played from the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Greenville's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Borges opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Takes the feed. The Everblades cross the line and gain the zone. Sends the pass over. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Low side save. Slides the puck down low. Jocelyn's taking it from his own end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Swamp Rabbits will play it in their own end. Target. Florida's got the puck at center. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Puck picked up by Such. Back at the point, they set it up. Quick shot. 
And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Swamp Rabbits gain possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Crabs it with the glove. I'm not sure how he saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Swamp Rabbits have it against the wall. Poked away at center ice. Scoops up the puck here. Taken along the wall by Cobring. Moves it quickly over to Everly. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Feeds it down low. And now he moves it quickly to Coyle. Gets in front of it for the block. Taken by Cobring. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Swamp Rabbits are going to serve two for tripping here. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Here he is, shot on himself. Made the stop on the play. And another stop. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice is in the slot area. He's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. The Everblades have a brief five-on-three looming. Well, a short five-on-three here, but you still have a time to strike, not even once, but possibly twice. You gotta get it on your stick, drive it through the net. And manages to pick up a two-on-one. Shot! Oh, they missed! All that speed off the rush, and they can't finish! And that's poked away. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Fires it into the offensive zone. Scrum along the wall. Moberg's got the puck in his own zone. Great reach with the poke check. Oh, big time save by Bittnerd. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Everblades will go to work here in the offensive zone. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck. If you don't possess it, you can't score. But it comes right off of the faceoff. And how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want and then you convert? Beautiful play all the way around. The Everblades pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score on the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum, momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Looks to start the transition game behind the net. Nice zone entry from the middle. Fires it. Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed that one. Well, hockey is a game of inches and a great shot just misses. Back to the blue line. Oh, and a smart heads up play. Greenville's got a hold of the puck. 
Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. Battle along the wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Quick feed to Carpenter. Now a quick pass to Pendenza. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. The Swamp Rabbits played along the wing. The Everblades have it now. Quick pass to Pendenza. Quick shot! Blocked in traffic. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Greenville's got a hold of it along the wall. There's the horn, two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Automobile-related pollution is on the increase worldwide. Do your part and take public transit to and from the game. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. The Everblades carried along the wall. Shot! Blocked in traffic. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Such has crossed the line and gained the zone. Puts it on net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Battling for it along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Carpenter. Grabs control of it at the point. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Up, change up. Off a stick, and they can't connect. And he makes the save on that play. The Swamp Rabbits will play it through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Everly. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Cormier. Lots of time left in this period. Florida's got a 3-2 lead at this point. And off the draw, they win possession. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Everblades win the draw here in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Florida's got the puck against the boards. Great read with the stick. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Florida's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Fires it! That goes wide. Moves it to Jocelyn. They've really got him on their heels here now. And they've got it in their own end now. Sends it right across the line. Makes a save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Swamp Rabbits win the draw. Greenville's got it in their own zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Picked off by Kemp. Handles the puck. Pushes it across to Kemp. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. in. Closed face so fast and just taken down. Here's a chance! Turns it aside with the glove. More than half the period left to play. Florida's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. The Everblades take possession off the faceoff. Gets his stick on it! Takes the feed! Can't get a hold of that pass. Tries to get the puck to Steos. Moves it quickly over to Darcy. Made the stop on that play. Pokes the puck away. 
Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Sandbrook's got it in the defensive end. The Everblades cross the blue line and are on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. The Swamp Rabbits gain possession. Quick feed to Greenway. Great poke check on the reach. Carpenter's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Slides the puck over. To the most slot! Oh, what a stop by Cormier! Florida's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Carpenter. Jostled off the puck. Oh, he got a run! He dumped right into his own bench! Well, he's getting a clear message to get out of here. The only good thing is it's his own teammates that can pick him up. Answered the call in that play. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Greenville's moving it up the ice. Shot! Too easy with the glove. Cormier's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Everblades are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Greenville's got it and they're on the attack. time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away James and he drops into that butterfly position all you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible but this one has seeing eyes from traffic and finds the back of the net Greenville's hard work and tenacity has paid off with the equalizer yeah James they fought their way back into this one and it's been a result of hard work good positioning and the ability to counter attack and that's a quite a punch to get them back at even the remainder of this period though both teams going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is going to be a great one. Good pass out front. Picked off in front. Greenville's got it in their own zone. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Carla Bade is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Martin's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Florida's won the draw. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Handles the puck at the point. Right in the low slot. How did he stop that one? When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Here in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Drives it to the crease. Coils hauled down. Penalty on the way. Let's see what the official says here. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they get the puck out. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And here's the pass to Everly. Here's the puck. attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Up along the wing. 
Here's a short pass to Everly. And that shot dies in traffic. And they send it down the ice. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And a man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. Specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. Sandbrook stick handling in his own zone. Oh. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delay penalty coming up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Freeman's getting called for tripping on the play. I love the 1-3-1 one, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. Jocelyn's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Answered the call there. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. And sends it just out of reach. Freeman's up and ready to get back on the ice. Stick save and a butte by Cormier. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Greenville's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. The Everblades will play it in their own end. Florida's ready to go on the attack. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Taken along the wall by Mober. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Bednard's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and the save percentage is an indicator of it. Mobert's loving the puck. Final minute of play here in this third, and it's anyone's game for the taking. Gives some nothing in front. Bednard's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. The Everblades take possession here inside the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Unleashes a cannon. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Came up with the save on that play. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. And they keep the pressure on. Picks up the puck in his own end. And he slides it quickly to Moberg. Clark has got the puck along the wall. The Swamp Rabbits look to start the transition game. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. There's the horn, meaning one thing. We've got overtime, and it's coming up in just a sec. Backtrack here with the play. 
through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Florida's got possession of the puck. Jabs the puck away. The Swamp Rabbits played along the boards. Centering through. What a chance, but they can't connect. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Slides it across to Carpenter. Now he takes it over the line. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. And he slides it quickly to Moberg. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denied by the puck stopper. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Poked away in the offensive end. Florida's on the attack. Yes! They scored! Winning in overtime! I'll tell you what, this squad came to play tonight. No question that this would have been a tough save to make, James, as he's trying to out-battle and see the puck with all of those bodies in front of him. But, man, you got to find a way to get that glove on the puck, especially when it's a windmill. He was looking for the flash and dash and just missed. Thanks so much for joining us for this postseason action, and we will see you at the next playoff game. See you, everybody.